Hello, my friends. Welcome back. And I hope you're having a good day. Uh, I've been working on a few things here today. It's rainy, so a good day to get up and uh, put my hand to something that uh, on a rainy day I get that creative juice to do something. So I thought I would share with you today uh, something I've been working on and I hope it inspires you to possibly alter a book with a different idea inside. Or I thought I would uh, do something a bit different. I found this uh, book at the thrift store. I liked the color and I liked the name, The Children's Hour. So I thought, oh, I have a good idea for this. So brought it home and I liked the color, like I said, and I didn't do anything to the front of it. I wanted it plain because uh, unless I add something to it later, I'm just going to keep it like this. So all I did is left it and put a little bit of lace there. So this journal book that I've created has included some cards that my grandkids and my children have given to me over the years. And I did some signatures. And I think there's about four or five signatures in here. So what I did is I took all the insides of this book out and um, each of the signatures, which is something like this, I took each of the things I wanted to save, cards, envelopes, bags, um, and I created a signature. Each one of these signature in the middle, I bound it together with thread. That was my binding. Once I had each of my signatures the way I wanted it, I then glued each one of them to some very heavy cardstock. and glued it with heavy duty glue to the back of the book. And it has held it very, very well. I put designer paper on the front with some lace and the back and then those signatures that I had sewn together glued that with this cardstock. Several ways you could do that. This is what I did. So I'll take you through what I did. Each one of the signatures starts with what I've saved my, I've done a lot of photo stamps and colored them and uh, I've included that on each cover of each signature and then decorated with bling, doilies, lace. And then in each one, I have included not only cards and paraphernalia, but some areas for me to do some journaling. I like to journal when I come up sometimes to my room to create. What drives me here is if I'm feeling overwhelmed, things on my mind, and if I can create something, it takes my mind off of that thing that's bothering me and um, spend a lot of time praying and over these events in my life or in events of other people's lives. I included any kind of bling that I've saved, that I've made, 
two years ago, our oldest grandson at the age of six was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. And there's a lot of journaling in here about him. It turned our world upside down, dealing with that. And you might be dealing with something right now. And I pray that you have comfort today somehow. So a lot of the things of my journaling and my tags, trust in the Lord with all your heart, patience. I've, this is a bag that has a pocket so that I could include even something now if somebody, uh, the kids have given me something. Tags, quotes from this book, the Children's uh, uh, Hour. I've used envelopes, bags, paper bag, white paper bags. There's the back of it. Just grunged it up a bit. Uh, this part of the bag and, uh, created a pocket, so I created a pocket there to add things. Here, I just used netting and glued it down with lace to create another pocket. And here's a card that I included. I love the color. I love butterflies. I like the color and then it's got personal handwriting using just a paper clip and some cutouts to add interest and that people can open it. More I love butterflies like I said, more butterfly paper. Uh, this is from the inside of the book and uh, remember the story of wink and blink and a nod and I have three sons so that reminded me of them. I was privileged um, a few years back to have one of my cards published and in a scrapbooking magazine so this was the one that was featured so I saved that used little bits of material cutouts it was at Christmas time it was published so uh, I included 25 a stamp of that cards more journaling area. There's the story of the children's hour. And here, my one of my sons made me this. Have to save that. And then even now, um, the kids send me something. So if I want to save it, I have lots of space in here to be able to save that. Use lace. Here's extra area if I want to put something in there. Another bag. I've just covered it with some ribbon. A lot of distressing. We've spent, there's another pocket from a coin envelope. Uh, we've spent lots of times at the beach with the kids. So I like that about starfish at the beach and just created a pocket in the corner. So I've included a lot of things in this book. Uh, I've even folded up coloring from pages of what kids have given me. The first time they wrote their name, so proud and that they included me in that. Here's another signature. Just using beads, just lace. There is a whole page that I saved from this book. Uh, the envelopes, I didn't glue at all and saved that for a pocket. Included the things, cherish every moment, the things that I have done uh, with the kids in our backyard, looking for snails and digging up for worms and you know boys they like to find the goriest scary things 
So good memory of that. Cards I've made. There's, I love keeping the kids handwriting and little words of encouragement they've given to me. Save some lace and I can glue something or put something in there at another time. There's another envelope with another tuck if I wanted to include something in there. A friend had made me a card and decorated the envelope, so I needed to save that. This card is beautiful, so I included that in. And so this was just the back of it just glued onto the designer paper. My last signature here, just some flowers I've made. Some embellishments. Chocolate is the answer. Who cares what the question is? <laughs> there. And my sisters have sent me some beautiful cards and I'm thankful for them. And so the same thing. I saved the cards in the back of the card. I just glued it to the paper and then I have their there are little messages and handwriting. There's another one with butterfly wings. See, this one came later, so I just uh, uh, used a paper clip to hold that. This envelope was beautiful. I didn't want to, I wanted to use that, so I tied a ribbon around it. And then when you turn it, I used a the envelope as a pocket in that card, and then this one. It became very thick, so what I did is with a crocodile, it wouldn't hold shut. I um, just made a hole here and used an elastic hairband. This is a brad, so I cut, um, I punched a hole and fed the brad through and covered it up with the, the bling there. And then that closes it really nicely. So I hope that gives you some inspiration to dig out those cards you've been saving and include them in a book. So have a great day. God bless you in whatever you do. Okay? See you again.